Hi all, so before we go any further, I just want to explain what's going on here because this video might confuse you. As you can see, I'm basically done editing. Um, but this video was supposed to be um, about holiday tips or tips for your lawn when going away on holiday. Um, I know it's way too late now, but this video will obviously be applicable for any lawn um, that you will struggle to maintain for a while or whatever the case may be, or you just don't want to cut off too much during the active growing season. Um, so this video will be applicable for that. Some nice tips in here. I know it's going to be confusing because it was shot like in the middle of December, but I hope you enjoy the video. Well, G'day all and welcome to the South African Lawn. Okay, so it is December, it's summer, everyone's on leave except Merrick. Um, life is lacquer, everyone's drinking beer, having the time of their lives, everyone's going on holiday except Merrick. No, okay, no, I'm just kidding, I'm also going on holiday. Uh, so that's exactly what this video is about. I'm going to give you some lacquer lawn pre holiday tips what to do with your lawn before you go on holidays. Today we're talking about a product that I've been wanting to talk about and also in the same breath that I don't want to talk about because I feel it might be a little bit too technical um, for your like beginner lawner or guys who's not really that into lawning. Um, so today I'm going to introduce some plant growth regulator chemicals to you. Uh, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of plant growth regulator and also why you would want to apply something like this and the holiday season is a great place to start um, when talking about that so stick around okay this is the product we are talking about it is called Primomax made by a company called Syngenta or Syngenta I've heard both of those names um, so yes this is a brilliant product its active ingredient is trinexapac ethyl okay um, so that is a plant growth regulator and this, you obviously get different classes of plant growth, different sections of plant growth regulators. Um, and some of them like promotes growth and some of them inhibits growth, slows the plant down. That is what this is. It slows the lawn down and it slows the plant down. Okay, so if you want to know more about plant growth regulators, just YouTube search some plant growth regulator ex explanations. I've actually seen a couple of good explanations and it explains to you more or less what it is. Um, but today we're obviously talking about this one that slows the plant down and I'm just quickly going to talk about uh, the pros and cons um, about a product like this. So let's get the cons out of the way. Um, you can't really add this product to a lawn that is recovering or struggling. Um, it is only actually meant for like actively quick growing lawns. It is the main purpose for it, for it is to slow the lawn down and to protect the plant. Okay, another con about this, it is an extremely expensive product or it might seem extremely expensive. Um, however, the application rate is fairly low or is actually very low. Um, so from like a one liter bottle like this, you can get like a hundred applications and I'm not even lying. Um, you can get close to a hundred applications on a lawn of this size. Um, so it might seem expensive. This bottle, I don't know if I should actually say the price of this. Um, I might shoot the supply in the foot, um, but it is expensive. It is like way more expensive than your general fertilizer and so on, but a great product to have. Okay, so now the pros of this product, and that's actually why we're applying it. Um, so there's a lot of benefits uh, from this product, and the first one is mainly it slows down the growth or the, the speed of growth of your actual lawn or turf or whatever. Um, and why would we want that? So like in, in my instance where I'm going on holidays in a couple of days, uh, it's a great idea to add a product like this because when you get back in a week and a half time or two weeks later, your lawn isn't overgrown and you have to scalp it back into place. Um, so it slows the growth down quite a bit. I've used it a couple of times um, and it does, it really does make a big difference. So um, also it reduces the amount of clippings where if you're using it uh, through your actively growing season 
um, so it reduces clippings you don't have to cut that much off the plant doesn't get stressed out by cutting that much um, also it makes the plant a lot tougher uh, because it doesn't take in as much um, it is a lot tougher so it can tolerate drought a little bit better um, the only downside to it is like if you've got a spot like I've got right there um, it will also slow down the recovery of that that's why they say that's why you can't really apply this to like struggling area so if I apply it to this lawn today I might actually try and miss that area even if it gets overgrown a little bit it's just something I'll have to deal with also it increases the turf density so your grass becomes a little bit thicker this lawn is quite thick in any case it's just some areas on the top that's not really that thick that I want to get thicker but I'm going to apply it in any ways um, it lasts for up to anything from about a week and a half to about five weeks depending on how heavy you go um, so yeah oh uh, yeah and also they say that it could improve the color of your lawn and it actually does because the plant's not that stressed out so it actually gets its natural dark green color back into the lawn so that's also a plus okay so this is more professional grade product that's why i don't really like talking about it um, but guys use it on golf courses obviously not to mow as as often so it brings the maintenance cost down um, there's longer periods that you can go without mowing those type of things also hard to reach areas like edges and side walls and those type of things grass banks um, it reduces the growth there so it's so it, it's so much better to add this product to those areas um, so it's like hard to get by so you don't have to mow it that often so that's brilliant okay so I've got about uh, 500 square meters of lawn I'm gonna add it to four of the 500 square meters um, only this section like behind the camera that I'm not going to spray it's struggling too much so I don't want to slow it down at all okay so let's just quickly talk about application rate of, or how much of this product you actually need um, so I'm not going to bore you with that um, there's two different like ratios for or there's actually a lot of different ratios for different grass types um, but there is room for fudge factor you just can't go too crazy with the amount um, so I'm just going to go for like a medium one that suits all my different grass types well I've only got actually got two I've got Kentucky blue and I've got Kikuyu so I'm going to spray it on all of the 400 square meters that I want to treat uh, with the same application rate so yeah let's go for it so just check here people this product is the application rate is like really flexible rate per hundred square meters 10 to 72 mils so that's like you can go 10 times more and still have effectiveness so it really shows you it's kind of flexible uh, about how how much product you use okay cool so I'm all mixed up and ready I'm gonna go like a double pass on all the lawns I'm gonna give them all two passes in two different directions um, and we'll see how far I get with this tank full of spray mix So now on to the Kikuyu, this is actually a much better lawn to spray because it's, gr it's growing like more vigorous actually than the Kentucky Blue and this is like properly well established like thick, 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 thick throughout Let's go for a spray
done, said the king with a roar. Okay, so that wraps up the spraying of the lawns with this PGR, Plant Growth Regulator. Um, so you can obviously, uh, you don't want to actually cut or water your lawn until at least tomorrow, like 12 hours. Don't do it. You want it to dry on the leaf. It's a foliar uptake only. It's not taken up in the roots. Uh, so you want to leave it on there and then by tomorrow you can cut again. So it pulls into the plant, it's absorbed up by the plant and it slows the plant down. Yeah, so uh, that's basically going to wrap it up. Uh, one more thing, you can fertilize while this product is active. Uh, it's obviously just going to have the opposite effect on it. So it might not be as effective when you have, when you put down a high nitrogen fertilizer. So just keep that in mind, but you are welcome to like put any fertilizer down with this product. Okay, cool. So that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much to everyone watching. A lot of information. I hope you guys enjoying Christmas. I hope you guys enjoying December. Uh, the weather here is great. We're having rain every second or third day at least, like three or four times a week at least rain. Uh, so that's brilliant. Exciting times of the year. Um, have yourselves a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.